Welcome back, Bob the Vapor Computer Guy. I just dropped my tank. You gotta screw the tank into the mod before you pick it up. Let's try again. Welcome back, Bob the Vapor Computer Guy. Uh, today we're taking a look at uh, the Gems Access RTA. Ooh, gold. So this was sent in by Heaven's Gifts for the purpose of this review. This is the Gems Access RTA. Um, it's 2.5, a 4 milliliter RTA single coil tank. Um, you can see there, it's gold. It looks nice. Uh, I've been extremely happy with this. Let's dive down the table. You can take a look at it the first time I saw it when I pulled it out of the box. Then we'll come back up and we'll talk about how it's been vaping on it. All right, so this is the Access RTA by GEMS, G-E-M-Z. So I'm not too familiar. I don't know if I've ever reviewed anything by them, but I haven't even opened this yet. Let's go ahead and pop this out, take a look at it. I'll give you a little specs here. It says 2.5 or 4 milliliter capacity, uh, so that'll be EU compliant. I assume there's uh, different glasses in there. We'll take a look. Two ways of coil installation. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe you can do vertical and horizontal, or maybe it means single and dual. We will find out. A little more information, and here we go. GEMS. And you can see the site is gemztech.com. And we can get this box open. It's one of those smooth boxes, so it kind of sticks together there. So we got a little manual here. And we'll see if we have to refer to that afterwards or not. You got a little screen cleaning cloth, microfiber cloth. I guess so you can keep your tank clean. Wow, that's looking pretty nice. I like that. I like the looks of that thing. That is gold. I love gold. Gold. Extra glass, screwdriver, O-rings. You got a couple of coils in here. You got two different kinds of coils. It looks like. All right. Looks like we got a round wire build and like kind of a flat Clapton or an Alien. Um, got some extra pins in there, some springs, and some grub screws. So we'll have to see what what that's all about. Eight ten drip tip. Nice. It's not super heavy. It's kind of light. It looks like it would be a really heavy tank. It's not. Juice fill on top. Two large Cylon slots. I really like the looks of this thing. This thing looks really nice. Screw the bottom off. And there's your deck. Alright. Now this glass, let's see. They are different. Let's take a look at the glass. I don't want to fuss this off. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so that ring is stuck on there. That's perfectly normal. It's new. That happens. Let's throw the O-ring back on. Might need some tweezers to do that. There we go. Oh, rings back on. So the two glasses that we have is a bubble glass and a regular straight glass. So I guess if we put the straight glass on, that's probably going to give you a 2 milliliter capacity, a 2.5 I think it was. And the bubble glass ends up bringing you to 4. That's what we're going to assume for now until, we, until I get to spend a little more time with it. Alright, let's look at that deck. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be a spring-loaded clamp style deck. Let's get out the, uh, the screwdriver that they give. So you got clamps in the top and clamps in the bottom. Let, let's put this on a mod. Be a little bit easier to work with, or even just on a coil master jig. All right, uh, let's dive down. Take a look at this thing. All right. So let's see if we go ahead and open up one of these top screws. Sorry, hit the camera. So if we open that up, you can put... Are we focused here? All right, so you put you open that screw up, you can put a coil in here, and that would work for a large single coil going from here to here. Okay, put your coil in the middle there, one lead in there, one lead in there. So that would work for that. I've got to decide how I'm going to build this thing. Let's see the other one. Let's put that back down. And there's a screw over here. And 
what the heck is that doing? Alright, so opening that up. Interesting. So you can open that up and put a coil in there. I guess you, what you could do with that is you could put your coil higher up. So with this you could put your coil low down. Doing it this way you put it higher up. So it's obviously uh, a single coil build in here. I don't think you'd want to do any kind of dual coils in this. And uh, I said put the coil this way before, but you wouldn't do that. You'd put your coil this way because obviously your cotton is going to hang off to these two juice wells, uh, two cotton uh, wick holes over here. So that's interesting. Two ways of building it here. I'm going to go ahead and build this uh, off camera and then uh, you know throw a coil in here and then come back. That's why they give you the two kinds of coils. So give me a minute. We'll be right back. All right. So I took the coil that came with it. I spaced it out ever so slightly. All right. Just to give a little spacing on there. Clamped it in that way. Let's cut the leads. Right. Let's see what we're coming out to. We're coming out at a .33. I don't know if you can see that. It's bright. .33. Let's give a little bit of a dry burn there. Got some hot spots. I did space it out slightly. Uh, did I say that? I'll make sure as you can see that it's not touching on the bottom. All right. Slightly off-centered there, but we'll survive. That might bug some of you, sorry. I want to make sure there's no hot spots on the bottom too. Sometimes you check the top, but you don't see inside that there could be a hot spot. So, looks pretty good. All right, burning evenly. Let's see what we got still. We're up to a 0.48 build while it's hot right now. But let's let that cool down for a second, and then we'll wick it. All right. Let's get some cotton in here. Yeah, it might be too thin. I think I need, well, let's see. Yep, need a little more cotton in there. That's a big coil. And those are some really big wick holes, slots on the side there. You want to make sure you, if you don't do enough, it's going to leak. If you do too much, it's not going to, it's not going to wick properly. All right. You want to feel a little bit of tension. All right. Now what I do is I overcut this, and we can comb it out, zoom out a little bit here. place this into the wick hole here and then you can either cut it ahead of time but we could also just what's nice about this is I mean obviously you can easily get your scissors in here feels like there might be too much cotton in that side let's see now the only way you're gonna really know usually is if you wet the wicks and start to put it together. So let's grab some juice. Got that wet enough that we should be able to get it to stay in the wick hole. And of course, Tanks like this where you're trying to get the wicks in first before you put it together and it's got to stay there and then you got to screw the top on are a little more difficult. All right, so how you, you see how I have it there. Why do we look so bright today? All right, but when you go sideways, you can see how it looks. All right, let's take it off to the off the coil master. Grab that top. See 
if I have it threaded properly, which I looks like I actually don't. There we go, that feels smooth now. Wicks are exposed on both sides a little bit. Clamp that down. Close off our... Is that close all the way? Almost looks like... See that? Almost looks like it doesn't close all the way. Well, let's see what happens when we fill it. Either she's going to leak, or she won't. And she's leaking? Can't tell if that was leaking or that was me. I don't see any juice coming out of this. I think that was just juice in my hands. Let's grab a wipe. Yeah, I think that was just on my hands. So there we go. The Access Tank by Gems. Okay, so our last single coil RTA I reviewed was the Zeus Tank. Uh, a lot of controversy on that because I, about ha I got a lot of comments and about half the comments said, I agree with you. I had the same issues with it. I don't. It's okay. It's not great. I wasn't too happy with it. The other half of the people said, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to wick it. You got your coil 0. .0001 degrees turned the wrong way. You should turn it this way. It'll work fine. Um, and they're telling me what to do. And I, for the people that are respectful, thank you. I have no problem with respectful comments on there. Uh, for those of you who said, oh, you don't know what you're doing. You should do it this way. Well, you know, open up your own review channel and, you know, review a lot of stuff. And then you can, you know, say what to do. Um, but you know, the, you got to understand all these things are subjective. Something may work great for me. It doesn't mean it's going to work great for you. All I can do is give you my opinion on it. In my opinion, this GEMS Access RTA blows away that Zeus tank. Um, this thing has been working beautiful. It is easy to build on. It is easy to wick. As you see, you've got two choices for where to put in your coils. It comes with, um, uh, you know, a, a, a round build. And also, you know, and I, I'm not remember all the different types of coils. There's so many coils out there, whether it's a Clapton or a Fuse Clapton or a double twisted Fuse Clapton. Uh, that looks like a flat alien coil kind of to me. That's what I'm using on here right now. I've still been using since I put it in. Uh, no problems with leaking. Um, you open up that top to fill. You see a few bubbles going in there. But I and I thought, uh oh, it's going to leak. You know, closing off that airflow didn't seem like it was closing the air off airflow off completely. It is. It is closing it off completely. You can certainly see it better here that when I do that you cannot see any airflow in there all right uh, it's been doing a good job uh, it's just a shadow if you're seeing anything no leaking whatsoever taste on it's been great it's a single coil and here, here's the thing it's a single coil RTA and if you didn't tell me if I didn't build this thing I would think this was a dual coil all right I'm only vaping it at 50 watts all right it's coming out to a 0 0.32 at 50 watts got it like I said on the Revenger 230 Wismec um, and if I didn't see that 50 watts, I would think I was vaping at about 80, 90 watts on a dual coil build. It's that good. Would help if I open the airflow back up. I mean, tons of clouds, tons of flavor on a single coil build. It's just doing a great job. That's really great. It, it's it's amazing. I don't want to say amazing, but it's amazing. I'm very happy with it. I think it's great. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to give one of them away, thanks to Heaven Gifts. I did not put that in the title, because when I put in the title, there's a giveaway. So many people who, not subscribers, probably don't even know what vaping is, jump on the giveaways. So I wanted to put this in where only my subscribers, the people that are either looking for this tank or watch this tank because you follow me and my channel, are going to get it in on the giveaway. So they sent in, as you can see, I have the gold, and I like the gold. They also sent in a rainbow. So we're going to give away this rainbow. Um, we're going to do it a little differently. I'm not going to do the comment one. I'm going to do the uh, one where you got to, you know, like, click to the Facebook page and stuff like that, you know, getting close to 5,000 subs. We want, I want to boost that a little bit. So the link will be below. You can also find a link on the vapingcomputerguide.com and going to the giveaways section. Um, do I call it giveaways or do I call it contests? I think I call it contests. I don't go to my own website too often. So, you know, um, contests in the top right, you can click there and you can get to it or you can click the link below. Um, 
go ahead and do that and we'll do this maybe in a week two weeks we'll see depending on how many people there are and we'll give away this uh this one from heaven gifts the uh, uh access tank by gems all right so thank you so much for watching go ahead and click that link below and um i'll see you next time